All right, we are officially back from the world roundup. Back at my home, back at my favorite spot. Let's do some skateboarding. Man, I haven't like sat down and filmed a bunch of skateboarding in a while, and I'm gonna do actual tricks that aren't in my contest run. Holy shit. Love this space. This is home. This is my like training ground, but it looks ugly as hell on camera. So uh, yeah, let's find a different spot. Sounds good. So we needed somewhere a little bit prettier, and Venice Beach was the uh, first available for the drive. So we hopped out to Venice. Sometimes it kind of looks like it's getting sunny. Otherwise, it's just this weird June gloom everywhere. So uh, still ugly, ugly day but it'll do. We're doing trick tips. We're gonna do a trick tip for you today and it's gonna be the Mraz Twist. Uh, it goes by a lot of names, but the one that I'm sticking with right now is named after Simon Rosinski, who is one of my favorite freestylers. Awesome dude out in the UK. So uh, this is it. This is what it looks like. And this is how you do it. You're crossing the lines. <laughs> you're not crossing any lines. No, you're not. What, you guys are filming me. So. We rolled up to Venice, tried to get some better footage than North Hollywood, and of course we found good footage with the Hall brothers. <laughs> Subscribe. So, we're talking about the Mraz twist. Simon, you're the man. You invented this. Well, you didn't invent this. I don't know who did. Probably like Pierre Andre or one of those OG 80s freestylers. But Simon does it best. He's done it best for the longest time, and I think I probably stole it from him or Terry Sinat without really realizing it. So this trick is done from the regular stance, rolling at a slow to medium speed. If you try to doing this too fast when you're first learning, it might be kind of difficult because you're gonna be sort of doing a front side pivot and throwing the board in kind of a strange way. It's sort of like a, a quick shuffle body varial thing. But you'll start by having your back foot in the center of the tail pointed at an angle towards the nose. So from here, you will be turning your shoulders front side. I always start with my shoulders and I'll simultaneously be pivoting off my back wheels. Now, once I get to about a 90 degree rotation and meanwhile, notice I'm skidding my tail while I do this, I'll start to throw the board in a front side shove it. As you're throwing the board, you'll be jumping off your back foot and trying your best to land with what was your front foot on the tail. And meanwhile, your body is rotating front side. You following me? I hope you are because I'm having trouble following me at this point. Like I said, it's a weird trick, but if you study the tapes, if you study these clips of the trick and you can really get a feel for what's going on with your board, your shoulders and your feet, it makes sense with the momentum that you have. So you'll be ending rolling backwards after you catch the shove it. I tend to pivot front side, continuing that rotation, just because my momentum, my shoulders, everything's sort of spinning me front side. I just have recently started doing Nolly shove it's out of it just as like a habit, I don't know. This isn't a very versatile trick. I have a couple of variations of this, the shove it out like I mentioned, and the Mraz twist to switchblade. It's an awkward one, really. It's not the most natural thing to like exit out of because you're spinning front side, you're throwing a shove it, you're landing usually in sort of awkward position on the board but maybe you'll come up with some crazy variations or some crazy ways to link this into footwork i personally love this trick for slowing me down getting me situated in stationary freestyle tricks and uh, that's actually i think the hardest thing to do in freestyle is to transition from moving tricks into stationary tricks back into moving tricks to figure this one out have fun with it go out and try it get weird on your boards as always, I'm always doing that. It's kind of the only thing I do. And I will see you guys later in the week for another video, possibly from the roundup. Actually, most likely from the roundup. It'll probably be my finals run. So stay tuned for that. Uh, hope you all are having a great week. And uh, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep dancing. Uh, Venice was fun. I have since exited Venice, obviously. I'm wearing different clothes. It is a different day. It's just been hectic trying to film vlogs. But things are changing. I will be able to share more soon.
Promise. Okay. I don't talk. Bye. 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 Bye.